Hello guys, today I want to talk about relatively new Laravel feature which appeared in 8.50 which was this summer and it is prunable models. For those cases where you want to delete some old records one time or maybe periodically by some condition. The most typical example is by created at field. So delete old records a month ago or older ones. So here's a tweet by Taylor and in the documentation of Eloquent it's called pruning models. In this video I will basically read the documentation which is kind of pointless it may seem but this is a reminder for you that from time to time you should read documentation because there are a lot of hidden gems there and also I will show it practically so the documentation says how to do stuff but it doesn't show the result. So if you want to make a certain model prunable you just add a prunable trait here. So I've done that in the demo project where I have log model. So this is how I imagine a typical scenario. You have a log of something, that log is filling up the database quickly, but after some time you don't need the older log entries. So for example, I've seeded some fake data, 10,000 rows in log table, and we will try to delete with artisan command the older ones, older than a week, for example. So this is the setup for a log model, prunable here, and also prunable condition. So we will delete all the entries where created at is earlier than a week. And to perform the actual cleanup, all you need to do is run php artisan model prune. I won't do that for now, we will run that command in a minute. Let's take a look at another option which appeared in 8.62 which is pretend. So you may run that command without actually deleting those entries and you may run pretend which will calculate how many records will there be for deletion. So 3988 is the number, but nothing was actually deleted. But when we do run prune, this is how it works. It will delete record by record until it reaches 3989. Okay, so while I was talking, there's another one record that met the condition of a week ago. So this is how it works by default. Then if we scroll down to the Laravel documentation details, you may specify pruning method, which will be called before deleting, if you want to delete something else with that record. Also, a typical case scenario of running that command is a scheduled thing. So you may want to do that one time, or maybe you want to do that every week, for example, or every day. So you may schedule that in the kernel. And I have a separate video on how scheduler works, and I will link that in the description below. Also, you may specify multiple models here. Important detail is about soft deleting. So in case of soft delete, soft delete will not be used, so it will be always forced delete, so be careful with that. And if you care about performance, you may take a look at mass pruning, which is mass prunable. And the difference is that it will not actually find the records one by one, it will prune everything in one query, which will not fire the events of deleting and pruning or eloquent observers or something like that. So this is just a quick overview of one feature if you want to delete all the records. If you want more videos with quick tips like this one or hidden gems about Laravel, subscribe to the channel. Also follow me on Twitter at Povilaskorup, where I share and retweet a lot of stuff that I find online on Twitter and elsewhere. And see you guys in other daily videos on this channel.